everyone, Michaela here back for another gacha video and today we will be talking about a game Looney stopped working on. So what is this game that Looney stopped working on exactly? Well, before I begin the video, comment down below on what you think of this video to get a chance to be featured on my next video. I'll be putting the featured comments by the end. And if some of you guys commented on my last video, keep watching until the end to see if you guys got into the featured comments in this video. Anyways, without further ado, let's start the video! So what is this game that Looney stopped working on? What is it called? Well, it's called Gacha Party. Well, now you must be asking, what was Gacha Party supposed to be? Well, Gacha Party is a dress-up and RPG game. And this is how it was supposed to look like. Yup, it was supposed to be a front-facing game. Which is really surprising to learn about because Looney has ever only made side character profile games. But, in Gacha Party, everything was gonna be facing at the front. Here's another screenshot. Just look at how cute everything looks. In Gacha Party, everything would be front-faced. In the quests, the studio, the story. But sadly, Looney has discontinued making the game. But why though, you must be asking? I'm not really sure what the reason is, but what I do know is that Looney started making Gacha Party way before Gacha Club. Imagine how cool it would have been if Looney did continue making it though. Look at all the features, the hair, and gosh, everything. But what if Looney did release this game? Would you guys use it? Because I definitely would. Look at how cool it looks. By the way, have you guys seen this cursed silly thing in Gacha Life 2? When using the animation feature. First of all, you have to go to the animated poses and make a pose. Alright, now let's go back to the main presets. Press on any of the presets and... Then you press this animation button. And oh my god, it looks so cursed! And kind of funny too. Wait, let's go see what it looks like on the other presets. Statue head. Oh, well, it's not a statue head anymore. Let's see how the eye looks. Oh, I'm surprised how this eye looks while in an animated pose. Oh, let's check back with the cat. I love how the whole body just appears once you've clicked the animated button. Wait, what is that in the corner? Wait, someone made a foot? Oh, this is probably one of the new meme presets. Now let's see how cursed it looks. Okay, now you just look like you're laughing at me. What's so funny? Okay, let's check out the other one. Cheese pants. Oh no, Spongebob! This is how Spongebob would look like if he was human. Uh, is that Mickey Mouse? Oh my god, that looks so cursed! Let's get out of here. Um, oh, there's a tree. Oh gosh. <laughs> Buffy Lango. Oh, all the muscles are gone. Wait, we even have Dora in here? Wait, there's even purple guy. Oh, someone actually made a side face. A lot of these presets here look really nice. Oh, but this one's my favorite. Look at how good that looks. They must have spent a lot of time on this. Anyways, there's this interesting feature that I found. Though I'm not sure how it exactly works, but we can try to predict how it will work. So if you look at the customized character tab and press on profile, you'll just see your normal character's profile description. Yeah, your pronouns, the import and export button, but wait, what is that? A front button? Wait, actually, what does it do? Does anything pop up when you click on it? Oh, good question, Mr. White. Well, when you click on the font button, the only thing that would pop up on your screen is the coming soon message. It's not like studio mode where when you press on props or the movies, this tab pops out. So I'm not sure if it's also gonna have a font tab like in studio mode or how this feature will work. But if we, for example, can customize the in-game fonts to different kinds of fonts, this is how it would look like in a different kind of font. That would be pretty cool if that's how the feature would work, but not just that. What if we could also import in our own fonts inside Gacha Life 2? But that's just a what if. That probably might not be it. It could probably be like in Gacha Club where you have a limited amount of fonts to choose from. Or maybe you can only change the fonts of your character profile since the font is underneath your profile. We don't know how this font feature will work yet since Looney has not confirmed anything about how this will work, but it still is an upcoming feature in Gacha Life 2 that not many people know about so there you guys go. by the way guys while i also love making gacha videos for you all i also would love to make gaming videos for you guys so i made a new channel specifically for it please check out my gaming channel called Mikaela. i'm gonna be making some roblox content there 
And if you guys want, you can also join me in game in Roblox and could possibly have a chance in getting in one of my videos in my new channel called Michaela. Oh, and if you guys also want to play with me in Roblox, I like playing Royal High sometimes and Boxburg. So there's a chance you might find me there. My Roblox account is called Michaela YT. And I have my joints on for everyone, so any one of you can join when I'm playing Roblox. So please subscribe in my new channel, everyone. I'll be posting gaming videos there. Guys, here we are at my fanart room. And I've got something to hang up on the wall today. Which is made by Samurai's Animation World on YouTube. And oh my goodness, the fan art looks so cute. I really love how you drew my hair. And the blushes are so cute. Oh, and I also love how you drew my controller. Thank you so much, Samurai's Animation World. I really appreciate this gift. Now, before I hang the fan art up on the wall, let's go check out another fan art. This one is made by Midnight. And wow, it looks really cool. I love the glitching and everything. It makes me look really cool and scary. I really appreciate the fan art, Midnight. Thank you. Now, let's go ahead and hang these fan arts up. Alright, there we go. We've hung the fan arts up. It looks really nice. By the way, if you guys ever want to send me fan art, just follow me on Instagram at MikaelaYTPlays and use the hashtag MikaelaYTFanArt. Oh, and just to let you guys know, in my next video slash upcoming gacha video, I will be showing you guys five of the most weirdest gacha games I have ever seen. So, if you want to see that upcoming gacha video, then stay tuned. Anyways, that is all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a Gacha Life 2 update. Thank you all for watching. Now let's go on to the featured comments. Thanks for all the kind comments. I love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>